What's going on, my peoples? All right, so let's talk, all right? This Young Jeezy and T.I. Uh, battle, um, I'm not really going to watch the whole thing. I'll dip in and out uh, because these are two guys that I don't give a fuck about. Um, I think both of them are trash rappers. Both of their discographies are weak as fuck. Um, yeah, and uh, if you ever get, you know, if you got a chance to watch that Funk Flex shit when Funk Flex bombed on T.I. just like yesterday, it was pretty funny, actually. Um, and, you know, a lot of it I agree with. I mean, the snitch stuff I don't care about, honestly. You know, the rap game is full of like, oh, use a snitch, use a snitch, and, you know, it doesn't mean anything, man. Like, uh, these rappers are not criminals. They're, I mean, they're not like you know, serious street life, you know, guys, you know, these are rappers, so, you know, I don't really care, honestly, you know, like, they can talk all that gangster shit, but at the end of the day, these are guys whose daily job it is to rhyme on instrumentals, so, I honestly don't care about their street credibility or background or any of that shit, just make good music, that's all I care about, so, um, and plenty of real niggas snitch all the time, it's part of the, you know, the criminal activity, you know, so I don't know, I, I never really got into all that. I think it's kind of silly. But if that's important to Funk Flex about whether T.I. is a real dude or not and whatever, fair. Um, I don't care. Anyway, so T.I. versus Jeezy. Who do I go for? Well, I go for T.I. personally. Um, I first of all think that T.I. is easily a better rapper. I mean, I don't even think that that's in question. Um, T.I. has better music. I think that's held up. Um, Jeezy, I think, was kind of a one-note clown at the time. I remember when this shit came out and I thought it was garbage. Um, I couldn't understand why it was so popular. But looking back now and seeing how hip-hop is degraded, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, corny shit. You know, that's cool. But um, at the time, I was, like, blown away by how bad it was. I don't think Jeezy has much good material, honestly. He has a couple of songs that are cool. Like I said, Stand in Ovation. My favorite of his is 3 AM. So I'm pretty sure he's gotta play that. I think that's like really the best song he ever came out with. And I think it's the one that holds up the best personally. So GZ plays 3 AM, um, Still On It. I think Still On It is pretty decent. And um, Stand in Ovation. And those are like the only three GZ joints to me that are like playable, which is wild. Um, T.I. is doing a little better because T.I. has I'm Serious, which is a dope song, phenomenal song, all things considered, so he has to play that. Um, What's Your Name is OK, Bring Him Out, of course, that's like his second best or arguably best song, you know, between I'm Serious and Bring Him Out, I would say that's the strongest shit. Um, what else would I play if I was T.I.? Uh, I would play Why You Wanna, Why You Wanna Go and Do That, Love, huh? That, you know, that was cool. Um, I played a Superstar Remix verse. I think this verse on Superstar Remix was fire. T.I. got talent. He can actually kind of rap. The problem is that he just took the easy route and made bullshit songs. And so that's why his career is sounding, you know, the way it is. And you don't really have that catalog. But it's not like he doesn't actually have the ability to rap. He's clearly a smarter guy who just chose to dumb himself down, which is horrible. Um, which is even worse in a way than a dumb dude just making dumb music, right? Because at least a dumb dude doesn't really have a choice, right? But if you're an intelligent and you choose to dumb down, you know, it, there's a way it is. I, I don't trust people to do that. Um, so, yeah, if he plays Superstar Remix, um, if he plays his verse on... Um, uh, that love, uh, my love record with Justin Timberlake. That beat is fire. Holy shit. So he should play that. Um, his verse was okay, but it was dope. It, it was cool for what it was. Um, he should play his verse on Blurred Lines. Um, maybe throw in Be Easy. Maybe. I mean, that record is not special, but it's definitely of that era. I think it's one of the best TI records of that sort of era. Um, and I think he did the song called Ball with Lil Wayne. That was, hmm. I didn't throw that in. Okay, so, but my point is, you see how I'm like able to like name a couple more TI joints? Again, I'm not saying all of these are great songs. In fact, the only really great song to me is I'm Serious and Bring Em Out. 
you know, great song, you know. Um, Superstar is a really good song too, actually. Uh, but of course, that's not his. That's just a, you know, a verse. So I think T.I. can win this, actually. I'm going to go with T.I. I think T.I. is the better rapper. I think that overall his music has held up better. I think it's going to show like Jeezy's music as much as people who are Jeezy fans, who are, you know, very little of them, I would say. But as much as they kind of want to say, oh, Jeezy had, you know, he was like, like he's a classic. He had his, you know, he changed the game. And that's true. He did for the worse. But, um, you know, as long as they can say all that and, you know, he had an immediate and strong impact, which is true. Um, I think people are going to realize that a lot of those songs sound exactly the same and they're all trash. Um, that Shorty Red and DJ Toom shit, trash. Um, did not age well at all. At all. All that stuff is just like really bad on the ear. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't even grow. It doesn't even like, it doesn't even have that thing where you're like, oh my God, I can't stop listening to this. Like, I feel like getting up and moving or whatever. It's, it's pretty boring. It's pretty boring shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and that was kind of what made the 2000s so trash. It's, it's gotten better, actually. Hip hop has gotten better that era. Think about it. T.I. and Young Jeezy were like the biggest rappers, some of the biggest rappers of the 2000s, along with, of course, Wayne and Eminem and Kanye. It was a horrible, horrible decade, man. Holy shit. Like, once shit started hitting 2004, 2005, it was just garbage rapper after garbage rapper after garbage rapper after garbage rapper. And um, I guess the benefit of that is that it made me, forced me to kind of like look back and listen to older shit. Because up until then, I, I was, you know, just listening to what was coming out and being happy with that. But around 2003, 2004, I was just like, yo, th this shit is fucking horrible. And so it, I was like, eh, I'm just going to listen to stuff I, you know, I missed. Like Illmatic, I hadn't even heard all of Illmatic. I'd heard like one or two songs off Illmatic. So I remember the... Um, you know, the anniversary disc had come out, I think. And then I went and bought it because I heard Star Wars at the club. DJ put that on and I was just like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, this song is incredible. He's like, yeah, it's like this new song that's come off, you know, uh, Nas's uh, anniversary, um, you know, disc or whatever. And I was like, okay, let me go cop that, right? And, um, you know, was like just blown away. So my point is that, the 2000s made me kind of look back and actually start doing my homework on hip-hop because it was looking really, really bad, man. Um, that shit with Jeezy and T.I., horrible catalog, horrible. Um, and it has to be said, man, it has to be said. It's funny because, you know, the way that Flex was going in on T.I. for having a weak-ass catalog and how Fab took that L, which is facts. I mean, this is, you know, fact, you know Flex isn't saying anything that's not true. But it does make you wonder how, like, people in the industry, unless they have, like, a direct beef or there's a, re there's a particular reason why they reveal certain shit. Like, we, you know, we know this stuff. Like, anyone that's, like, ahead can tell, you know, we can tell you the fab is trash, but you won't listen to us, right? You'd be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. But the moment that Flex says it, you know, years after the fact, and, you know, people go, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, you know, Flex is right. Well, of course he's right. We were telling you this like 10, 20 years ago when Fab came on the scene and he was making them bullshit records. I'm pretty sure there were people like myself that were like, mm, this guy ain't it. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, unfortunately, they wait. It's like they, they're just, you know, victims of the moment. They just want to ride the wave. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, I've been in it for a long time. I've been listening to hip hop. So I can just tell when shit is trash and it's not going to hold up. You know what I mean? Like... Look back on my channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to flex a little bit here. But look back on my channel. When I have told you something is trash, nine times, if not ten times out of ten, it ended up being trash. I told you the Kanye album was going to be garbage. It was garbage. You know what I'm saying? I told you Jada was going to wash Fab. He washed Fab. You know what I'm saying? Like, look back on my shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty good with this rap shit, man. I, you know, it's, it's something that when you listen to hip-hop a lot, you start to figure out how things go. You see patterns over and over again. I know that Kendrick is not nice. I know that he's a trash rapper, you know, with a lot of uh, cosigns. And, you know, he's, he's got the image of the moment. But that his shit is not going to hold up. Just like Eminem shit don't hold up. Kendrick shit is going to not hold up. And, like, the cats that listen to Eminem and listen to Kendrick, they're the cats that are casuals. They don't really listen to this rap shit like that. You know what I mean? I know this already. I can just tell. So, you know... That's just how it is, unfortunately, with rap. There's a lot of bullshit. 
But people who are really into it, they know. They can tell, like, mm, this person, nah, he ain't it. And Fab ain't it. T.I. ain't it. Young Jeezy ain't it. You know? I'll check it out. All right, y'all. Be easy.